We all grew up being taught about money in a certain way. Study hard, work hard, get money, save money, and get rich. But is that all it takes to be financially successful? We don't think so. So, here are 10 secrets about money no one ever tells you. Watch on to level up your way of thinking about finance. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we talk all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial freedom. So, if you are interested in learning more ways on how to make, save, and invest money, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn your post notification bell on. That way, you'll be notified every single time we post a new video. Are you ready? Yeah, we think we are. Let's go. Secret 1 Create a foolproof financial plan. What happened in the previous four years for which you wish you had been better prepared? It's possible that you or your spouse lost your job, highlighting the need for life insurance or a health plan that isn't tied to your job. Or it emphasized the importance of having an emergency fund. Perhaps it awoke you and your spouse to the fact that you will not be able to retire when you had planned. The first step is to identify these gaps in your financial plan. The second step is to make the necessary changes to close these gaps in your long-term financial outlook. You may need to reduce one aspect of your spending in order to contribute more money to an emergency fund. You might want to investigate alternative healthcare plans such as a health savings account. Or perhaps it's time to rethink your retirement savings strategy. Could you be doing more to prepare? If you make the right changes, you may look back on the recession as a blessing because it forced you to make better financial decisions. Secret 2. Get real about your long-term financial goals. Creating a foolproof financial plan, of course, entails setting realistic long-term goals. Most parents, for example, cannot afford to fully fund their children's college educations. This is especially true given the rising cost of higher education. The average family should prioritize funding mom and dad's retirement accounts and recognize that their children will need to rely on scholarships, financial aid, and loans. Explain this reality to your children early on and make it clear that they must prepare themselves for success by doing all the things that colleges value, getting good grades, participating in extra co-curriculum activities and so on secret 3 money is simply a tool money is portrayed in the media as the source of all evil corrupting the rich and torturing the poor no money is more akin to a two-edged sword it can do so much good for your community if you earn a lot of it and use it responsibly however greed can tempt you to cross moral and ethical lines So, be cautious. Secret 4. Learn from people who have made money. Assume you want to climb Mount Everest. Which of the following do you believe will be helpful in this regard? A. Someone who studies mountains and climbing but has never climbed Mount Everest? Or B. Someone who has? It's an obvious choice. You do rather learn from someone who has taken the same journey you intend to take. They do have more credibility. They do be aware of all the highs and lows to be expected. It's the same story when it comes to learning how to build wealth. Secret 5. Stop being a prisoner of your own mind. Cheaters, they say, never win. Having a negative mindset from the start, on the other hand, is a form of cheating, but you are deceiving yourself this time. Your words, thoughts and beliefs can either motivate or demotivate you. Winners and successful people are well aware of this. I am going to earn what I want to earn. By the end of the year, I will have more than doubled my income. It's all a matter of mind. Secret 6. Don't allow food spending to eat up too much of your budget. Eating out all of the time adds up quickly. Furthermore, those meals are usually unhealthy. especially fat laden fast food meals if you plan ahead of time you won't have to resort to the drive through out of desperation on the other hand if you cook the majority of your meals 
Don't use that as an excuse to overspend on groceries. Eating in doesn't give you free reign to go crazy at the supermarket. Maintain a healthy stock of groceries at home. This will reduce the number of trips to the store and the need to eat out on the spur of the moment because your cupboard is empty. Try to do the majority of your shopping at discount warehouse type stores that offer slow prices for purchasing in bulk or at grocery stores that offer bulk purchases. And if you're trying to eat more fresher, healthier and organic foods, buy more of what's currently on sale and stock up on non-perishable sale items. Secret 7. You don't know what you don't know. Earning, spending and saving all begin with a thorough understanding of money and finance. You must read the right books, listen to the right voices and be open to new ideas or insights. Keep in mind that anything you don't know can come back to bite you, and you might not even notice it coming. Secret 8. No one is better than you. Don't think you won't be able to make money because you are not like other people. Almost no one achieves their financial goals by being smarter or better than others. They dedicated time and effort to learning. They began at the bottom and worked their way up. You have the same potential for success as they do. That is the mindset you require. Secret 9. Step away from your credit card. True of everything from consumer goods to vacations to automobiles. If you can't pay in cash, you can't afford it. Avoid the allure of no money down financing and credit cards that make too good to be true offers to entice you to sign up. Credit cards make it easy to overspend and carry debt from month to month. If you must use credit, use a charge card instead of a credit card. Secret 10. Avoid brand names. Companies that spend a lot of money on image-oriented advertising should be avoided. Branding is frequently used to charge higher prices. Meanwhile, blind test tests have shown that consumers cannot easily distinguish quality differences between high- and low-cost brands across a wide range of products. Consider the significance of the product's name and image. Companies spend a lot of money creating and cultivating an image that has no bearing on how their products test or perform. This is especially important to remember when going grocery shopping. Most of the time, the ingredients in store brand products are the same as those in brand name products and may even be made by the same company. You don't have to pay anything to get the name. We take pride in the quality of our audience and your desire to actively improve your finances. So we want you to join the conversation. Your turn. Which one was your favorite? Did I miss any? Leave me a comment below. Now, for those of you still watching, you are a true money finder. Of course, there is a bonus waiting. Find a mentor. If you are serious about reaching your financial goals, you will seek advice from the best mentor you can find. People rarely reach the pinnacle of their endeavors without the assistance of others. You will need good mentorship and you will have to pay for it. Don't expect others to share their knowledge for free. To learn more about top 10 amazing ways to budget your money and still enjoy life, click into this video right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.